Welcome to 23rd of December's Godly Blessing. Supreme God Father is teaching us that how the powers need to be accommodated with. That means at the right time and the right moment, that particular power needs to be present for me and you. So let's say a situation arises and you're supposed to face that situation and you're trying to tolerate it. Facing the situation would mean that you're politely and very nicely, respectfully telling them, sorry, this is not correct, I feel so, so I won't be able to do it. But you're tolerating it at that time and they're letting you do certain things which are not good and you're still going ahead and doing it. How about that? So tolerating and facing, they are two different things. So let's explore what exactly does God Father have to say. God says, may you order all your powers and use them at the right time as a master almighty authority. And these powers can be asked for at any particular time because the whole day we're facing situations, even the facing the situations of making decisions, even trying to find out whether this kind of situation or this person is guiding me or telling me the right thing or not. That means power to discern. So there are eight powers plus power to put a full stop to our own thoughts so that we can listen to others and hear them out and find out what exactly is hiding between the lines. So all those powers are required throughout the day to make the right decisions and go ahead in the right direction. So that's why God says that may you order all your powers and use them at the right time as a master almighty authority. So God says to be a master means that when you order a power, you experience that power in a practical way at that time. So it's like a decision making time now. I have done so much of work now, what should I do right now? At this present time when I am free, what should I be focusing on? So that also needs a power to decide and power to discern. And also to think what is more important, what is my priority right now. But if you don't prioritize, that means we are powerless. We don't have the power to decide and power to make the judgment and the right decision at that particular time. And we waste our time and we can actually get things postponed and have a lot of burden on top of us. So there's so many things which we need to do, right? Throughout the day. That's why God says, whenever you need a particular power, that power should cooperate at that time. That as soon as you order a power, it becomes present for us. So that means let's say it is a time to listen to others. So we use the power to withdraw. That means I need to withdraw. I need to discern at that time and judge whether everything, the whole team is making a decision and that decision is going in the right direction or not. And in between, I can be like a tortoise putting all my five senses, not using them at all. Like right now I'm using my eyes, my mouth, my ear. And I'm using these and when the time comes, I can just sit back, relax and for 10-15 minutes listen to everybody else, what they have to say. And then in the end, come out with the right judgment and the decision of any situation, what needs to be done. So that's why God says, whenever you need a particular power, that power should cooperate at that time. It should not be that when there is no time to speak and that time is not the right time to speak, you in between budge. And you disturb the whole meeting. So God then says, let it not be that you order the power to tolerate and the power to face appears. That this is the time to tolerate and not say anything. But we start saying certain things and we start facing them. No, this wasn't right. You shouldn't have done it like this. Why are you saying like this? That is a time to tolerate and sit back because situations will mellow down and they'll go in the right direction. So that's why God says that is not called being a master almighty authority. So we are supposed to tolerate, but at that time we are facing the people, facing the situation, telling them what is not good, what is not right. Similarly, it is time to make the right decision in a situation. We are supposed to not come into any kind of agitation, not come into any kind of dis any kind of disturbance or irritation. But we are getting irritated, we are getting disturbed and we are not able to make the right judgment, right decision. So will you be called a powerful soul? Mm -hmm. So that's why God says that is not called being a master or almighty authority. Just as the powers of your body are in order, right? Either soul, you the soul can tell exactly where to move, where not to move. Immediately you know when to stop, there's a vehicle coming, you know it's time to stop, it's not the time to run. 
Imagine somebody who sees a vehicle crossing the road and starts running. Will that be soul called a powerful soul? No. Powerful soul means in terms of physical body. They are not able to control their body also. They are not able to make the right decision whether it's time to stop, whether it's time to move faster. Similarly, God is talking about subtle powers of the mind and intellect over here. So God says, just as the powers of your body are in order, in the same way, let the subtle powers also work according to your orders. Subtle powers would mean the mind, the intellect and the habits. There mustn't be the difference of even a second in this. Imagine that. We are supposed to reach that stage where we are not sitting and doing mm, okay, ha, maybe, ha, okay, what about. No, this should be very smart and very powerful and very sharp. And that can happen when we are meditating every day in the morning. God says throughout the day you should be karma yogi. That means while doing your karma you should be in connection with me. So that no situation, no person can actually move you or shake you. And that can only be possible when we know the right method to be in connection with God. And that is known as meditation. Connection with God is meditation. Or remembering God is meditation. The highest form of meditation. The rest of the world's meditation, focusing on your breath, focusing on a point, focusing on your different chakras, is the basic ABCD. But we are talking about a higher level of meditation, which is the simplest and the basic and the best and the highest level of meditation. You too can learn that when you go to Brahma Kumari Center. With this Om Shanti.